G'day folks. I've almost got my uh, ele electrolysis machine heat exchanger finished. Pretty elaborate considering uh, I don't use it that often, but I figure I've got these parts lying around, I might as well use them for something to get them off the floor. Basically it's uh, based on just bits of old air conditioner and well, that's basically just air conditioner scrap. The control box is from a uh, four-cylinder bits of V4 um, semi-hermetic fridge compressor. The coil there is from an old supermarket display case and the fans. The filter dryer was just surplus. There was no end plate or core for it. It was just an empty housing so I put it together out of scrap. New end plate and everything. That has a stainless steel mesh screen inside it. The pump inlet is down there. I've got to finish and plumb that in. Pumps through through the, through the screen, down into the fan cooled coil, and back into the tank at the bottom. It'll be cold to hot. Hot water coming off the top, cold water going back in the bottom. Uh, it's only for the hot summer days where the electrolyte temperature starts to exceed safe levels, starts to exceed 60 to 70 degrees Celsius, uh, which isn't that bad, but it just starts boiling off after a while. And this thing looks pretty cool anyway. It's a nice looking bit of kit. The pump is a uh, circulation pump from a locally made evaporative air conditioner. Not very powerful. The system's not going to be operating under much pressure so I'm using the existing rubber hoses that came out of the air conditioner. Uh, yeah, it should work quite well. That's all for now. That's much better. I'm not a big fan of guarding, but I think since I've got this material lying around, it's better than nothing. I don't want to bend my blades by dropping anything on it anyway. I've got to go shopping tomorrow and get a few more fittings and a uh, waterproof power switch put on this. I don't have anything with that rubber out of seal on it. And that's the key thing here. I'm mounting a power 240 volt AC supply near water piping and things and this enclosure is waterproof it's got a nice seal on it but everything else that goes into it has to be sealed as well these fans are sealed they're okay they're designed to be mounted outdoors and they get a bit of moisture through them anyway but the main thing is to keep the AC power out of the water so I'll get the pump, pump and everything plumbed in a little bit later on I mean I don't really need it running until summer but it'll be nice to demonstrate it later and that should be it. I might actually roll it up a steel frame to stop this tub from bowing out when it gets hot. I'll fit the tub in a frame. But that'll be later on. Thanks for watching.